Yeah, I, 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 you know, there's been a lot of discussion this week about a potential letdown. I'm not sure any, I, I, well, I know some people in here asked, uh, you know, are you concerned about a letdown with this game? And I, I it, a lot of credit goes to our team because, uh, and I've said this a number of times without being redundant on it, but you could come in and watch a practice at any point this season and not know whether we were five and twenty-two or twenty-two and five, and the guys have responded really well, win, lose, or draw, to a game plan with a lot of enthusiasm and energy. It's a really easy group to coach. And then I made a comment to some people earlier in the week after our practice on Tuesday that I uh, I wouldn't want to be the team that had to play us because they were, you know, you can talk about fixing things when they're broke, but to the human nature to lose a game like we did at Oregon, I think it really got some guys' attention. And uh, we had a terrific couple days of practice. And, and, you know, to have eight guys score eight or more points tonight was, uh, you know, just what we needed. It was, a, it was a group effort. I thought we defended the rim really well uh, to hold them to nine in the first half. A couple of different pick and roll coverages, and guys did a tremendous job of, of finishing plays tonight, unlike uh, our last game. I yeah, I mean it was it was good. It was it was done collectively. Uh, it was done with defense in mind. Um, again, you know it's hard. I can't remember a lot of the games, to be honest with you, as I'm flashing back to it. But it was as, as good of a all around performance as I think we could expect. I would have liked to have been a little better with some rebounds. You know, I thought for plus three at halftime uh, with the 41 to nine game, there should have been a lot more rebounds for us. So again, it gets back to some of the rebounds, but I'm uh, really happy. Our full court pressure was good. It turned them over and, and guys made some plays. Uh, I love DeLon, you know, but I'm not, I'm not here. Uh, we're not being judged. I'm not judging DeLon uh, based on being one of the best players. Uh, all those awards, anything that come his way are going to be well-deserved. That's the standard I think that other people will have to determine. But I, you know, we've known what we've had here for a couple of years. So uh, he's not concerned whether he's perceived as the best player in the conference. He's doing things the right way. And and we didn't want to have senior night. Uh, we wanted to have senior weekend, and, and we've been talking about that for a long time. There may be a little extra emotion uh, Saturday night, but um, you know. And actually, we've been talking about Dallin and Delon all year as being guys. This thing goes fast. You know, when we started the season, I think I wrote on the board 143 days, zero wins, and now we're down to 16 days before the championship game of the Pac-12 tournament. Uh, so, you know, poof, like where did those months go by and, and uh, creating a sense of urgency even for our young guys, you know, that this whole process, your four-year experience goes really fast and um, it's important that you, you're on edge all the time throughout that four years. Finishing plays, you know, and, and finishing plays a lot of times is, well, in the Oregon case, it was getting them to miss and then 50-50 balls, it's kind of bouncing around and we didn't complete the play and scramble and guard the ball. but. Part of finishing a play is, is contesting it when somebody gets to the rim and staying in the play to the very end. Uh, and that was, that was really good. I mean, our guys with those block shots finishing at the rim, and we didn't have a bunch of guys coming uh, trying to help. We, we ended up switching some pick and roll coverage and just played man to man. And we ended up with a big on a small a lot of times, and those guys were trying to finish at the rim, and it didn't go so well for them. But um, all the way through the possession, I thought there was a lot of intensity to. To, to begin a play and to end the play properly. Well, I think it, it, you hit it on the head. I mean, uh, you know, we, we've had some guys, and I'll name the names. It's Kyle Kuzma, it's Isaiah Wright, and it's Kenneth Ogby that maybe have been on the outside looking in, you know, and then floundering a little bit with confidence. You can see it in their play. Uh, not necessarily a big part of our rotation in the Oregon swing. and. You know, that I discussed, had sit down conversations with those guys early this week. And it's not a time of year to have individual meetings and want to talk about what do I need to do to get on the floor. It's they know, you know, we've just spent four or five months together. Let's, let's not complicate this and uh, go out and bring some energy and think about the right things. And those guys were really good in practice this week. And uh, that's what I told them that's karma, that's the basketball gods. When you 
engage yourself and buy in and don't give up and cop an attitude because you're not playing. Because the reality, um, you know, if we end up playing, our goal is to play the championship game of the Pac-12 tournament. That's six more games uh, with seven leading into tonight. You've got three in a row in Vegas. You've got some quick turnarounds here. You've got a quick turnaround next week, maybe the quickest in Washington. And without a doubt, that's where your bench can come into play. So we needed everybody. Uh, and they needed to get out on the floor in this environment and find a little bit of mojo, you know, get some of their talent back uh, and feel good about the game. So that combined with the fact that we've got a, a game at 7 o'clock at Saturday and having some guys with some fresher legs isn't going to hurt a thing.